this Photoshop lesson is on filters. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is find a, a picture that you would like to affect, of course. So now I'm just in Organizer and I've got this thing blown up. So now this is the photo I choose to work with. So what you'll want to do is select it. So make sure that you click on the one that you want. And then you can go to Fix and ask for a full photo edit. It's going to launch the full photo editor. And from here, I'm going to go to Filter and ask for the entire filter gallery. And that will change my screen dramatically. Okay, so I've got three windows within the screen. The first thing you'll need to do is change your zoom here so that you can see the entire picture. So I'm just going to hit the minus until I see the entire picture. So now I see the entire picture. What I like about this tool is it will give you previews of what any one of these many things will do to your photo, which is huge because it's hard to remember what every one of these things do, and there are a lot of things. So this is just in artistic. This is in brush strokes. So all I'm doing is I'm clicking on this button to show the entire menu within distort. And because I don't want to open all of these at the same time because it's going to take up my entire window, I'm minimizing it again so as to not show it. Okay, so click on this and it shows it. Click on it again and it hides it. Now, I'm not going to go through every single one. That will be something that you can do. But I'm going to go through a couple. I've outlined a couple that I think you might find interesting. So in here, there's this plastic wrap one, which is kind of cool. Now, I clicked on it and now it's giving you a preview of exactly what it's going to look like. You don't want to do this with all your photos, of course. This is just for effect. And that's a, a neat little effect. Now, if you choose, you don't, if you find you don't like that one, you can minimize this window, go to another style, and then you can try one of these. So you're not tied into that one. I didn't say okay, so I didn't lock it in. So from here, I've got uh, brush strokes here, and I can try this one. And that's what it did to that picture. Again, not something you'll do to all your photos. It's just for effect. It's just a different sort of looking picture. Um, different looking sort of picture. Um, going to look at maybe uh, distort. I didn't like any of them in here. So we'll go to sketch, let's say. There's a few of them in here that I really liked. This one here, very different look, very neat. And again, you may not like it on this picture, but on other pictures, it, it might look really neat. And you might even think uh, of a certain scenario where you don't even have the picture yet, but you think, wow, if I just had that logo back there, if I just took a picture of our logo and added that, that would make a really cool thing that I could put on a page. So open up your mind a little bit as you're going through these and try to think of what would look cool with that effect. I really like this photocopy effect here too. It allows you to take an ordinary picture and take and turn it into something that you can you can draw into, almost like a comic book. Uh, or a drawing book type of thing. And you've got different things that you can do down here as well as so you can affect the way the photo looks a little bit more. So almost every one of these has a different menu down here. It's quite elaborate, the amount of things that you can do. There's this one here that's different as well. It tastes like it's all grained out. I'm going to go to Stylize and show you this Glowing Edges one, which is kind of cool as well. Looks like it's under a black light or something. Again, very neat. Our logo might also look very cool with that. If you just took all the people away or went into the gym yourself and took that picture, that might look very interesting. So I'm going to minimize these just to give me some room. And in texture, there's there's you can look at all of them when you have the time. There's the stained glass effect. So those are some of the things that you can do. Now, if you decided that you wanted you liked one of these and you, you wanted to save it as a new photo, then you would just say, okay, give me that. And then you'd be able to save this as a brand new PNG or JPEG and then use it in any document.